In this demonstration, we are going to talk about Rational Team Concert, the, both the Eclipse version and the Visual Studio version as well as the web version and how they solve the problem working on the same project. In our project, we have a server part which is written in Java and we have a client part which is written in C Sharp. So let us see how the two stream get started on this demo. So we have the uh, RTC Eclipse client. So when you are added to a project or to a team, a team invitation is sent to your email ID. So in this case, I have already generated the email. So we can see that Jerry, who is the person who is going to work on the Java and the server side of the project gets an email in which he is asked to copy paste the content. He does that. Accept team invitation, paste the content and notice how the team area starts getting to populate. And he starts getting some feeds and the, his project node is populated. He can see the builds, plan, report, source control and work items. Similarly, in the Visual Studio client, Cindy has been added as uh, the person who will be working on the C Sharp part of that. So she also gets an email. Again, she does something very similar. She accepts team invitation. A dialog box open up. In her email box, uh, she would have got an email asking her to cut paste the contents. Paste her content and some, she's asked for a password. And you'll start noticing that the team artifact navigator starts getting populated. So you can see builds and plans, source controls and work item nodes get populated here. So let us look at the web client now. So assuming our testing team is monitoring the dashboard for the project and it notices that there is a successful build that has happened. It clicks on that to get more details about the build. Along with the build, there is a download. So the testing team can start to download and start working on uh, doing their test and other stuff that they are assigned. Let's assume for the moment that uh, what happens is that after during the process of testing, the testing team faces some problem and they want to file a defect. So they can create a new work item which is also related to the build that they were testing against. So they, they are using the web browser to create a defect in the same project. Problem with the build, we can add a description saying the case of echo is not preserved. They assign it to Cindy and uh, priority is set to medium. Planned for can be left blank or it could be done to anything. And they find it against the C-sharp client because that's where they observed the behavior. And they go ahead and save this work item. Back to Cindy uh, and let's see how Cindy discovers that uh, the work item has been assigned to him. There are various ways in RTC uh, to figure out. For example, she could go and see some of the predefined queries and see if there are some recently created work items. Sure enough, there is a work item that was recently created. She can open the work item. So while the work item opens up, uh, I just want to explain that this in this project we have a server part which will which is the echo server. Whatever a string is sent to the server is uh, sent back to the client. And the client is one which provides the UI, which takes whatever input you specify and sends it to the server and displays the response back from the server. So Cindy observes uh, uh, the details of the defect that has been assigned. She sees the build master is the one who created it and she can go to the links to see what all is there in this. She sees that it is reported against a particular build. In the build 
definitions and build engines she can open up the and build and look at the and build which is uh, the same as this one so she can go ahead and create our repository workspace which reflects exactly the same state of uh, the sources as that has gone into the build so she goes ahead and ask it to create a repository workspace call it uh, build breakage workspace for the lack of better term and sure enough my in my repository workspace a build breakage workspace has been created now the thing to notice is that this build breakage workspace has exactly the same contents or the same state of the repository as it was the one that has gone into creating the build she can go ahead and uh, load the workspace into his local drive so she can start working on it so she gets to load uh, let's call it cindy So this operation, uh, she is working on the client part of it, so she doesn't at present bother about the server. She can uncheck it and presses finish. So what will happen is that this operation will get the contents of the repository onto the local disk in the location that we just specified, and then it will figure out that there is a solution file that is present in the sandbox that was thus created and will offer to load the solution. So I gladly accept the offer, and now I got a solution which is loaded. This solution has the same contents as the workspace. So while the Visual Studio takes some time to load the workspace, uh, I can be confident that uh, now I have the sources which are on par with whatever has gone in the build. So once assuming that this is ready, I can go ahead and start debugging it. So I ask it to run. I get a dialog box, which is the application that I'm working on. Okay, I type in something here, hello, as it was specified. and yes the response is indeed a small hello which is not what is expected it should have responded similarly 